Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Ethan Houston. Started our Thursday off with rounds of rain, thick cloud cover. We're going to end it with mostly clear skies across the majority of the Susquehanna Valley. Right now in Harrisburg, we are at 73 degrees. Dew points, though, still high in the upper 60s, making it feel muggy. We'll see those values drop as we head through the night. No action locally on Super Doppler 8 live radar, but we are tracking some showers back towards Oil City and towards Lake Erie, where there is a cold front that is going to push across the region as we head through the night, bringing in that reinforcing shot of drier that will be around for a Friday. So mostly clear seasonal, a stray shower north of the turnpike lows tonight will be in the mid to upper 60s. Early tomorrow morning, you will notice that drop in humidity. Temperatures will be in the mid 60s to lower 70s, then rise to the low to mid 80s. It's going to feel fantastic out there with that light breeze out of the west northwest. So enjoy the break from the high humidity while it lasts. Made it to just 77 today, and we only picked up five one hundredths of an inch of rain out at Harrisburg International Airport. This storm system really underperformed. Some areas did get a decent soaking, like Strasburg and Eastern Lancaster County picking up two thirds of rain, just shy of half an inch in Reedsville, and a little over a third of an inch in New Freedom in Southern York County. It was a cool day today. Temperatures only rose to the upper 70s, and when you look at daytime highs so far this summer, we've actually been below average. We've only had 13 90 degree days to date. By this point last year, we had 25 days above 90 degrees. The average over long term is 17 days. Right now it's 67 if you're watching us in Lebanon, currently 72 in Lancaster, 75 in Gettysburg. So not bad for this time of the day and also time of the year. That intense heat continues across the deep south where that sweltering high humidity has been pushed off down to our south thanks to that passing front that helped drive the showers earlier this morning. So that's locked away, but we'll get another reinforcing shot of some drier air thanks to that secondary front. Here's a weak storm system that's moving out of the Rockies that will push across the Great Lakes on Saturday may trigger a few isolated showers and thunder showers during the afternoon. So here comes this next cold front, but it falls apart as it works its way across the valley. But you will certainly notice that drop in humidity for your Friday, a pleasant day out there. Temperatures near average, but humidity values well below average. Large and in charge ridge of high pressure will start to head towards New England. Notice as we head into Saturday, a little bit more cloud cover. Temperatures will rise back up to near 90 degrees. And with this incoming front, we could see a few passing showers as we get closer to sunset, but only spotty in nature. On the long range here as we head into Sunday, nearly the same type of weather. Just a pop-up shower and thunder shower will be possible. Most of the valley and for most of the weekend, our weather is going to stay dry. Just low chances for some passing showers and storms at times during the afternoon, but the humidity values will go up along with the temperatures for your Saturday and Sunday stays up into Monday, and that's when we have our next best chance for passing showers and thunderstorms across the valley with temperatures holding near average in the mid 80s. Notice temperatures as we head through the next 10 days. Very little day to day change highs at or just above seasonal averages. Once we get past Monday, the next best chance for showers and storms will hold off in the forecast until the following Friday. All right, Ethan, thank you. Come